Pirates hosting the Mets. Andrew McCutcheon trying on his all-star jersey before the game. That game, of course, will be at the home of the Mets, City Field. For the fourth inning, no score. Kirk Newen heists up with a runner on first. Finds the right center field gap against A.J. Burnett. That allows Marlon Bird to score, and the Mets go on the board first. It's 1-0 New York as Bird flies home from first. Top five now, second and third. It's Bird at the plate. Infield single to shortstop off Burnett. He's safe at first. Daniel Murphy scores as you look at Bird hustling down the line. Matt Harvey missing his scheduled start because of a blister on his right index finger. Carlos Torres taking his place, bottom of the fifth inning with a 2-0 lead. This doesn't help though. Jordy Mercer into right field. That scores Garrett Jones and the Bucks are on the board. It's 2-1. Bottom six now, Andrew McCutcheon up the all-star with the bases empty. And McCutcheon hammers one to center field. This ball is back. This ball is gone. A game tying home run for Andrew McCutcheon, his 10th of the year. And it's 2-2. Two two. Courtesy of KDK, one inning later, Greg Burke pitching for the Mets. McCutcheon up again with two on and two out. McCutcheon, ground ball off the glove of right into left field, a base hit. Here comes Snyder around third. He will score. It's 3-2 Pirates. Andrew McCutcheon's RBI single breaks the 2-2 tie. As heard on KDKA, now 4-2 Pirates. To the ninth inning, Jason Grilly trying to protect that lead. David right up, he's the last chance for the Mets with two outs. And Grilly gets him to bounce to shortstop to end the game. Pirates take it 4-2. The Pittsburgh bullpen going three and a third shutout innings in relief of A.J. Burnett. Burnett went five and two-thirds. He gave up two earned runs on seven hits while striking out eight. Torres Sharp in his first start in nearly three years. He gave up just five hits and one earned run while striking out five over five innings. Jeff Locke won't start for the Pirates on Sunday. He won't pitch in Tuesday's All-Star game either because of lower back tightness.